Hey everybody, Team Doc and Team Spears here. Did you know that Epicure is here to make your life easier? And we as consultants are here to facilitate that even more for you. We have almost as many quick meal solutions in our catalog as there are days in a month. That's one easy dinner idea planned out for you every single night of the month. You just tell us which ones you want and we facilitate it getting right to your door. And we're here to tell you about some of our favorites. One of my favorites is our versatile pulled chicken. Make a quick sauce using three of your pantry ingredients like ketchup, vinegar, and brown sugar, or you can sub honey for the brown sugar and toss it in the chicken. You can cook it for six hours in your slow cooker, 25 minutes in your Instant Pot, or eight to 12 minutes in your multi-purpose steamer, fresh or frozen chicken. The reason this is in my top five is because of how many how much gets left over to repurpose? Yeah. You can freeze it or use it the next few nights for pulled chicken Mexican pizza, pulled chicken quesadillas, pulled chicken nachos, pulled chicken mac and cheese, pulled chicken in your black bean Azteca soup. The possibilities are endless. Toby Ann, what's your favorite? Thanks, Jen. My favorite is the tuna casserole. So quick and delicious and creamy comfort food, especially on these rainy cold days. All you need is some milk, water, tuna, egg noodles, and some frozen peas. If uh, all you have to do is cook it in the Epicure wok. So easy, so fast and delicious. If you don't have any peas, no problem. You can switch it up with any kind of steamed vegetables. Don't like tuna, no problem. Go ahead and cook it with some chicken. Or if you're vegetarian, try a little bit of a chickpea. And that's our favorite. And don't count on any leftovers because there probably won't be any. Sue, what is your favorite? You know, the first time I saw this dish, I thought, who created this concoction? Well, then I tried it. My family now loves the Epicure Huevo Rancheros. It's ready in under 20 minutes, which is great for our normally busy lifestyle. And it uses only a few ingredients. There's crushed tomato, black beans, eggs, water, and the contents of this envelope. You can wrap it in a tortilla, serve it over rice, or eat it just as it is. I have made this without the eggs as a warm bean dip with tortilla chips, and it was a huge hit. You might also use this package to add a little bit of Mexican flair to your chili or your soups. There's so many ways you can enjoy the burst of flavors. You can get this on its own or in Epicure Stay Home collections. Lisa, what's your favorite? Thanks, Sue. One of my family favorites are the Azteca tortilla soup. You just empty the contents of this package and it's great because the instructions are always on the back. Um, with five cups of water, and I like to add two tablespoons of our chicken broth just for extra flavor. Then you bring it to a boil, let uh, everything simmer, add some, a can of crushed uh, tomatoes, or I like to use diced tomatoes, a can of black beans, and finish it off with a half, half a cup of corn. The great thing about this product is that if you're not a big bean fan, you can always swap out the, the beans for another protein like ground pork or ground chicken, ground beef. Even some of Jen's pulled chicken, um, pulled chicken is amazing in this. Top it off with some sour cream and homemade tortillas, and it's amazing. Hey, Kathy, what's your favorite? Thanks, Lisa. My newfound favorite is the sweet and sour stir fry. Follow directions on the back, add a can of pineapple, a little soya sauce and vinegar to make the sauce. Then coat some chicken with either cornstarch or a flour mixture. I mix a flour mixture if you have to stay away from corn. I use tapioca um, flour and potato starch. Or if you don't wanna use chicken, use cauliflower for a vegetarian. Try. Fry it in your wok or in your fry pan. Add veggies, fresh or frozen, your choice. Pour in your sauce and let simmer. Rot it ready in 20 minutes, yummy. Try variations like a veggie stir fry, sweet and sour meatballs, sweet and sour pork chops, or get more adventurous and turn it into a healthy version of lemon chicken. To make the lemon chicken, I just swap out the crushed pineapple for fresh squeezed lemons. Natasha, take it away. Thanks, Kathy. In my house, beef stroganoff is our favorite. I have a 14 year old and a 10 year old and it's definitely kid approved. All you need is ground beef or strips if you like, fresh mushrooms, Greek yogurt or sour cream, 
and serve it over egg noodles or rice if you like. If you want to take it up an extra notch, instead of the water that comes on the back of the, in the recipe, replace it with red wine. Mm. Uh, and not just beef stroganoff, you can also use this for gravy for your meatballs, pork chops, shepherd's pie. Add the seasoning straight to um, ground beef to make hamburger patties or even meatloaf. Tracy, what are you making? Thanks, Natasha. I am, my favorite is the falafel mix. You only need hot water and lemon juice to make this. Turn them into little patties. You can fry them or bake them in the oven and you can make uh, falafel plates. You could do it in a wrap or one really fun way to use this mix is to make a falafel pizza. What about you, Jackie? One of my favorites, Tracy, is the General Tao. Full of sweet and spicy flavor, it's like having takeout at home, but much healthier. Follow the pack instructions using just four pantry ingredients, two bell peppers, and chicken, and then serve over a bed of rice. Or you can even use it as a lettuce wrap. Switch it up by adding different vegetables to suit your preferences, and you can also sub out your chicken for tofu for an easy vegetarian option. Raw to ready in under 20 minutes, and if you're lucky enough to have leftovers, they make a great nourish bowl for lunch the next day. Up to you, Marcy. One of my favorites is the doner seasoning. What I love about it is you do different sauces depending on what uh, what you feel like that night. So you could go East Coast or West Coast with the lemon dilly or the uh, the garlic aioli. Uh, we the other way I make it is you put it, added a little bit of water to the meat, put it in the oven, bake it in a loaf pan. For us, we're always crazy busy, so we just do it like taco meat and then add it to either pitas or naan. The other great thing that's great to take to potlucks and all those kind of things, big family gatherings, is to do the great donair uh, dip. It's fabulous. It's a, it's a great way to please everybody at the party. I made it about a month ago and there was nothing left. So we have a question for you. What are you what having for dinner? Your favorite? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? What's your favorite?